In this presentation, we will fill out the earnings record for the month of November from our payroll register to the earnings record, the month of November being down here. Note that we have frozen the panes, so if, uh, we should, if uh, you haven't had the panes frozen, you can freeze the panes by going to A4, View tab, Windows Group, Freeze Panes. So we're going to scroll down to the data that we want to implement, and that's going to be down here in November. We're going to highlight this information so that we make sure to pick up the correct month. So I'm going to highlight this whole thing. And down to here, and we're going to right click on it. And let's make it green. I'm going to make it this light green this time. I'm liking the light green. So we want the green ones. And then we're going to go to the right and we're just going to enter this data. Remember what we're doing here. This is the payroll register, which is in order by pay period and then by employee within the pay period. And we want to go to the earnings records and kind of flip that around. The earnings records being in order first by the employee here and then having the pay periods. So we're going to scroll up top. Our first employee is going to be Anthony and we're going to say the filing uh, information will hear filing status first. Now note all the information will be the same. Why are we doing this? Because we need to tell our employees amongst other reports for our own purposes that what their uh, total earnings were for the pay period as well as year to date. So this gives us the, the summary of what's going on for, for an individual employee year to date. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to be here in AB7. I'm just going to say equals. We're going to, I'm just going to hold down the left arrow till I get to the end. And then I'm going to scroll down looking for the green data. We need the green data, which should be November data. And there it is. November data. We're looking for Anthony Moore. Want to pick up that M. It's in B26. And enter. There we have it. So I'm going to scroll up just a bit. There's the information. B26. Now we're just going to copy that across. We're not going to autofill because that'll change the formatting. We're just going to right click and copy and then highlight and then uh, select the cells next to it. And then we're just going to right click and paste the formulas only, just the formulae. And uh, there's a problem with the clipboard, but it seems to have done what we asked. So I think we're good. So now we have the net pay uh, here and we have the gross pay and all the withholdings for both the pay period as well as the totals. We'll do the same thing now for Cindy Lewis. So we'll be down here in AB14. Within AB14, we're gonna say equals. We're gonna hold down the left arrow till we hit the wall. And then we're gonna go down to the green data. Green data. We're looking for Cindy Lewis. So there's Cindy Lewis. We're gonna say, pick up the marital status and enter. There we have it. Now we're just going to copy and paste that across the rest of the data. So I'm going to put my cursor on AB14, right click and copy. I'm going to select the data to the right, or the place where we want to put the data, I should say, and right click and paste uh, just the formulae. So there we have that. All right, and now we're just going to continue this process for Jill Jackson. So we're down here in AB21. We're going to say equals. I'm going to scroll to the left to find our green data. Looking for the green data. Scrolling down, there's green data. There's Jill Jackson. There's the single status that we're looking for. We will say equals. I'm going to scroll up just a bit and we're going to copy that. Right click and copy. Select the blank cells where we want to put the data to the left and right click and paste the formulas only. All right, we get to do this one more time, then we have to stop because that's all the employees we have. We're currently on Jill Jones. Jill Jones, we're in uh, November. We're going to say equals. Scroll left to that green data that we're looking for. Green data, green data. And here we have the green data. M for Jill uh, Jones and enter. So there we have it. Now we're going to copy that formula and paste it to the right. So right click and copy. Select the cells to the right where we want to paste the relative formulas. Let go, right click, and paste. One, two, three. Then we can double check our totals down here. We're going to have to make, I'm going to make this a little bit larger so we can see our data. It's nice to see the data. I'm going to highlight these two and make that a bit larger to see the data. There we have it. And then if we scroll down, our green zeros, our nice little green zeros we did last time, will tell us 
that uh, our total earnings here match what we have on uh, the earnings records to the payroll register. But let's just double check. Uh, the two best ones to check, we can say total earnings are 193, 12850, and uh, 112, 101. So this is probably the best number to check. So I'm gonna go back over here and scroll down. Our totals down here also need uh, some widening of the columns. Let's do that. And then here's the 112, 101. So same data formatted a different way. Off the payroll.